Hey everybody, what's up? This is Zakir's Gym. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. We've got a brand new video for you guys. Ever seen these around or heard of hand grippers but don't know exactly what they're used for? Well, you've come to the right place. Today I'm going to be breaking down what these guys are used for and you'll be surprised to find out they're actually a really powerful tool that can elevate your fitness to the next level. So without further ado, stay tuned. So, what are hand grippers? So I don't know if you've been to the gym and seen those things you attach at the end of barbells to make sure the plates don't slide off. Well, these are basically the same thing. Um, there's like a spring attached on both sides and <clears throat> of a certain resistance. And when you squeeze, you're basically just working your forearm and your grip strength. And that's basically what hand grippers are for. Um, when you go to like Target or Kmart or Walmart, whatever, uh, you'll usually find these kinds. And they usually have around 10 to 20 pounds of resistance max. Um, if you're really weak and you're just going into the gym, like starting out, these are great to uh, start by. But once you get into more advanced, and if you've been lifting for a while, I highly recommend these. Um, you can get them on Amazon, just type in a hand gripper. Um, I think they range from 100 pounds of resistance all the way up to like 300 or 400, which is insane. The one I have in my hand currently is 200 pounds resistance, and it does not mess around. So as I mentioned earlier, if you're just a beginner, I would recommend sticking to something like this with the 10 to 20 pounds resistance. You can get it at Kmart, Target, Walmart, whatever. It's around like 10 bucks. Um, but if you're more intermediate to advanced, if you're intermediate, get something like this ranging in 100 to 150 pounds resistance. You can get that at Amazon for around 10 bucks. Um, and if you're more advanced, start off with 200 and then go up. And you can get that also for 10 bucks. So now, what benefits will you see by incorporating these hand grippers into your normal routine. So let's say for instance you've been lifting a certain amount of weight for a very long time and you just can't seem to bust that plateau. You've tried for a long time and it just hasn't been working. So what usually happens is like even with exercises such as like a shoulder press or a bench press or something like your forearms usually start to give out before the main muscle that you're targeting does and that leads to premature failure and you don't want that you want to be able to go to like absolute failure to you just can't give anymore and what these do is improve your forearm strength improve your grip strength so you're able to squeeze the weight higher I mean harder and just like keep pushing heavier weight and in the long run that'll make you grow so now how often should you train your grip strength with these hand grippers personally I don't go more than once a week just because the, these hand grippers, especially the 200 pound one, it's very taxing on your ligaments and wrist. So I feel like once a week is more than enough. And if you're also doing other like forearm workouts throughout your week, like forearm curls or whatever, um, once a week is more than enough for this. So now I'm going to be demonstrating the workout that I do once a week to improve my grip strength. I actually forgot to mention this earlier, but if you're also an advanced lifter, um, it's always nice to have a lighter uh, hand gripper around just because for my workout what I do is I do a warm up set with the lighter one just to get my blood flowing and so my wrist and joints they feel more comfortable. Um, and then I go into the heavier one. So without further ado, let's do this workout quick. So first I'm going to just be warming up with the lighter one. I usually do a rep range around like 40 to 50. but just go as much as you can just just this is first rep is just to get the blood flowing just to feel a little more comfortable when you go into the heavier one it's welcome, baby. So now once you're comfortable and you feel like you're ready to move into the heavier one, 
just take like a 30 second break in between the warm up and the real set um, and then jump right into it. So I actually haven't been doing this for a while and some of you may come across the same issue. It's that with one hand you may not be able to close it completely. So you can use this other hand to cheat and help close it. But then as soon as it closes, let go, like stop using the cheat hand and just hold it for as long as you can until it just releases on its own. So I'm gonna demonstrate this right now. So I'm gonna use my cheat hand to sort of help close it. And now that it's closed, I'm just gonna hold it for as long as I can and then slowly let it release. And that's one rep. Then I'm gonna do it about five to six times. So around five to six reps in total. And I'm gonna do three sets. I'll only do one set just because video time purposes, but let's do this again. So it's closed right now. I'm holding it. It's actually tougher than it looks. So that's two. And so basically that's how the rep set goes. And then once you're done with the three sets, I like doing a drop set with the light one where you're just hammering away until you just can't no more. And then on the very last rep, I just hold it and then squeeze it. And then you're done. Um, <clears throat> I usually alternate sets between each hand just so I'm not wasting time. Because if you're waiting around just for one hand, it takes a lot more time. So do the right hand, then the left, right, left, and then just do it like that. Saves a lot of time. That concludes the video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and hit the bell so you get notified whenever I upload. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them below. Have a fantastic day.